like a whole minute I have not filmed in almost a whole week it may be longer than a week but um it's in the evening time today was one of my work from home days it is actually 3 43 so almost four o'clock um I'm getting dressed I just did my face basic face because I have a taste testing this evening which I'm excited for I love to go taste some food okay with one of my clients um I've been working like crazy for my corporate conference that's coming up in three weeks um we're down to the wire so of course you know it's crunch time all day long um 24 7 literally I wake up to emails and stuff that I need to take care of but um and that's the reason why I haven't really been on here and talking because i just been swamped with my company stuff um but i just had to tell y'all y'all i just got cussed out by one of my clients for my nine to five job like that's funny i've been doing what i've been doing like um, my new job where i'm a victim advocate i've been in this position for about four years that the first time that I ever got cussed out and it's funny to me because most of my clients love me they always love me like I'm here for them I help them out I give them all the services all the assistance that they need and I've never ever ever had any bad experience so it's crazy that this dude just wowed me out over the phone and I'm just like okay like that's that's how you feeling about it like I'm here to help you I'm, I'm here to help you. Like, why you cussing me out? I'm the good guy. What? Like, I just, I was, yo, he called me a B, a M and F and B. And told me not to call his phone no more. <laughs> okay look I don't, I don't got time for it i don't got time for it so um i think i'm gonna take you guys along with me for my taste testing um and my makeup look real good today don't it and we're just using natural light um it's sunny outside it was super cold this morning and i am not ready for fall i'm just not ready for it um sorry guys i, I like i said I, i'm checking email so um just give me one second yeah i have to reply to one of my so i'm trying to reach one of the delegates one of the um a congressman about my conference and if you don't know they are one of the hardest people to get in contact with and reach so it is truly a um a email chain like it's just like all right so oh my gosh seriously so i did i did have two corporate clients that i do that have um people from the house come out and participate and i tell you they are always the hardest people to get in contact with so let me finish this up and i'll be back guys i am super mad kelly done ate another pair of my shoes and she knows she's wrong kelly Leave her alone. She is punished. She is on punishment. You were stressed out. Ain't no, she was stressed out. Ain't no, she was stressed out. Don't, don't give. No don't. They don't pay you no attention. That's why you do what you do, and I encourage you. No, you are punished. I encourage you. Tore up my box. I was saving this. Anyway, guys, I look um shiny. Let me shut this window. Oh my god, look at my forehead. I'm shiny as ever. Um I got my boxy charm. This box is huge and it's so light, so I don't understand why it's a big box. Because it feel like it ain't nothing in there. So let's cut it open. I 
I'm already disappointed. Already. So, this is the card. I got this Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment. So, this was, I think, my choice. Um, the choice was not that good for this month, so... use a glam glow mask in a long time baby remember i used to use these all the time so it's a full size oh and it has a seal so i can't open it up but here yeah. i got these beauty blenders these i will be giving to my little sister and when i say little sister i'm talking about my baby sister that's nine years old they got animals on them but they look like they may be good sponges though i don't know i may keep them i don't know but um oh, let me get y'all the prices so that glam glow that's a 60 dollar purchase at yeah. sephora these makeup blending sponge set who make this it's made by M2U and these retail for 20 bucks on their website, I'm assuming. I've never heard of them. Um, I have a George Jenna Keller. Uh, did that focus? And this is a all types, all skin type. It's a primer. Let's see what this primer is supposed to do and how much. This is a $32 primer. It's a blur if, um, imperfections and it ensures an all day radiant finish. It's hydrating and long wearing. Um, it cushions skin with um, hyaluronic acid. Okay. It also has um, mineral oils, vitamin E, A, F, and B. Okay, so it's supposed to be doing a lot. We'll check it out. Um, I can't, it's too much light. It's too much light. I gotta, put, let me close my curtains. The sun is at its highest right now. So, hold on one second. Okay, that's much better. Oh my gosh, that sun is bright. Um, which is good. Natural light is always good, but. So, let me see. That sun was bright as heck on my face. Um, I got this. And this is from the, uh. It say pump your base. And what is this? It say pinky rose cosmetic. What is this? It said it's a creamy base multi-use makeup stick that can be used on the eyelids as an eyeshadow or a primer to your eyeshadows. Can also be used on the bottom lash line, water brow, waterline, brow bone or lips it's the perfect duo to be used together or separate so let's open it up and see what this is and it's called pop your brakes okay so it's two okay so these are the color combination great for the fall time and you got that cream one this cream one will definitely be a brow bone i mean you can use it on your um bottle um bottom lower lash line but definitely oh it's it's like a crayon pencil so this is a cream it's nice and white this will be a nice eyeshadow primer and then this one ooh, okay it's all the way up so this one look like it's like a shimmer shade and it look like it's a, a bronzy color yep nice for the uh, fall time so you have, I got those two. I definitely will use them. Okay, pump your brakes. And this retail for, oh, and the company is called Pinky Rose Cosmetic. It retails for 20 bucks. And then I got this. And this is called Best Friend Forever Half Cake. Who is this by? Half Cake Best Friend Forever and Bloom Duo Fiber Brush Set. So I'm assuming Half Cake is the company. Um, and these brushes retail for $22. If they're brushes, I don't have to read description on what the brushes do. They make up brushes. Okay, let's look at them. Oh, it's just one brush. So it's a dual fiber brush. Meet your 
um, brush BFF get an intense pigment with a matte finish that will take you from day to night apply to the apples of your cheeks so I'm assuming this is a blush brush or top off your cheekbones with this 100% synthetic brush custom created to give a airbrush finish developed with sensitive skin and mine it's a fragrance free formula gives you the perfect flush every time okay so i did need to read that oh this is what the brush look like and these hairs right here are longer than the bottom i would love i'm gonna try this um i don't know how i feel about it though but i'm gonna try this with my cream with my cream products and see how it do and it did come with this let's see this looks like it could be a mirror this is a it's a day and night uh, maybe it's a blush it, it is it's a blush and it looked like it's gonna be a uh, it's pink but it looked like something that I can definitely work with. I don't want to try it out but definitely look like something I can work with um if it's not then I'll probably um this will probably go in that little section for my little sister so yeah so those are the five items again not anything to write home about but it looked like all the items in here was $20 and up so one item alone paid for the box nonetheless so if I only use one I got my money's worth right but that was my September boxy charm hey guys happy sunday um it's in the afternoon and i am literally just getting started it's literally five o'clock not in the afternoon it's in the evening and i'm just getting started with my meal prep you guys know i do that every sunday um this week i'm going for something real light and easy i'm not doing too much um i have I have my tea boiling. You guys know I make tea every week. I have boiled, I'm have eggs on to boil. Um, this week for lunch, I am going to make tuna fish. And for dinner, I am doing some Cornish hens. So this will last me for the whole week. And I am going to make broccoli with my Cornish hen and I'm going to do cauliflower rice and that's going to be my dinner so let me get my oven on now I'm about to clean these up and put them in a pan to get in the oven and um, let that start for dinner tonight I'm fixing two I'm fixing salmon for myself and my son will probably eat some um, and then I'm doing wings for my husband I will probably eat some of the rice, uh, my cauliflower rice and some of my broccoli with my salmon since I'm already fixing that so I don't have to do no, um, oh you know what, I got corn in there too. I may fix some corn as well just so I won't have to deal with fixing a whole bunch of vegetables and stuff since I'm getting a late start. Usually you know I start in the morning time so that way when it's time for me to fix dinner for the family I um, will be just cooking one meal but since I'm cooking everything right now i'm trying to kind of double up on stuff so that's what i'm doing and i'll pick you guys up shortly hey guys i don't know if i ever showed you this before but i wanted to show you this is the um tuna that i use i like to use the light tuna and water in these little packs they're 70 calories a pack and um since i'm making enough for the whole week i am going to use four packs so and um, for my tuna fish, I use cucumbers. And when I, I'll show you guys throughout the week. I work from home twice a week. So you'll see me eating my lunch. And I'll show you guys how I do my tuna fish. You'll like it. Good afternoon. I'm going to do the dishes next. First and foremost, guys, I'm sitting here and my son is telling me what I need to do. Um, like he's my parent. Say hi. How you guys doing? He's going to tell me that I need to clean the dishes like he's my parent. Um, but I guess I'm, I'm working from home today. It is Tuesday and 
I wanted to show you guys what I'm having for lunch. Um, I have not ate any breakfast today. I had a half a cup of coffee. I did not even finish it. I just been, I've been working ever since 7.30, but had some iced coffee. Only drunk half of it. And um, that tied me over for the morning time so i didn't eat any breakfast um but i'm about to eat lunch because it is 12 o'clock and i'm starting to get a little hungry and so i fixed tuna fish as my meal prep on sunday for lunch this week and i'm gonna show you how i eat them so i do tuna fish with um a slice of cucumber and this is what it looks like. I don't do bread. I do the cucumber because it's more lightweight, less calories, and it's the healthier choice versus doing the carbs and the um, the bread. So, just put a little bit of tuna fish on a cucumber slice, and I eat it like that. So this is going to be my lunch. And then I'm going to clean my kitchen because my son said I need to wash dishes. Because I did not wash them last night and I got in the house late. And then um, um, I got to rinse this conditioner out of my wigs. I got three wigs that I washed on Sunday and let them air dry. And then I have a meeting with one of my clients at 2 o'clock. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys my... Um, current work from home setup i i literally today just not felt like doing anything yesterday was a really stressful day for me at work i had a little scare um with my co-worker but by the grace of god everything turned out fine and i'm just grateful that i was there um so today i just have not been in like a like feel good type of state um so that's why i'm still in my night clothes i still got on my pajama shirt my bonnet and just 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 how i feel today i don't i don't i gotta get dressed i gotta do something within the next two hours because i do have a meeting scheduled at two o'clock and I need to go and do blood work so I need to you know hop in the shower and stuff but um I have just not been in a rush to put on any clothes and with that being said I have not been in a rush to be downstairs um other than going to make coffee this morning and fixing my lunch a few minutes ago I literally been in my closet all morning long and so you know guys usually when I work from home I work from my desk and I use my desktop but this is my current setup right now I have my work laptop here in this section and then I have my a personal laptop here and I've been working on my um, content and my business stuff over here and working on my nine to five stuff right here so I just been kind of back and forth I do a little bit here then I turn around I do a little bit there and I don't even know what my, I gotta go get my cell phone and um, I use I had my cell phone sitting right here in the corner and that's what I that's how I've been working today like that's just that's how I feel um, and Kelly is whining and crying I think she wants to get picked up Say hi. Why are you crying? She just woke up from her morning nap. Come on. Come on, get up here. Come on, jump. Come on, mama. When you roll over, I can't pick you up. So you gotta come. Come on. Jump, jump. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. So you're gonna get a bath at lunchtime today. At well, after you eat your lunch, you'll get your bath, okay? Yes, bath day. You can get a bathy bath. Um, how are your day going? I hope you are having a great week. Y'all, when I had my son, so all she want to be with is him. That's it. That's all she want to be with. Um, I hope you guys are having a good week. Let me move y'all over here because this sun is bright. That's a little bit better. Um, all right, let me get some work done. I got to do some work. I need to go get myself hey guys so um i think my two o'clock meeting got canceled um so that's why i'm still sitting here with pajama clothes on and then let me see let me see uh, what she say 
yep so my two o'clock got rescheduled for tomorrow at 11 um letting them know i'm available tomorrow and so yeah and i think my husband left me because i'm still walking around the house with pajama clothes on and um so i am sitting here it is 12 54 so i'm about to feed kelly and then i am going to wash my wig let me rinse her bowl this is her bowl guys we had to get her a slow feeder bowl because she eats too damn fast and yeah so she gobbles her food down and she was eating too fast so we got her this maze like bowl so she can eat a little bit slower so let me wipe it out so I'm going to feed her and then I need to rent out the conditioner on my wigs um, that I am taking with me to Vegas next week. I'm so excited about my trip. Then I need to finish. I started packing. So I'm going to show you guys what I got packed so far. And then I'm going to finish packing and um, I'm going to pack my husband's stuff because guys don't know how to pack so i'm gonna pack his stuff for him he already got everything together and it's just sitting there so i'm gonna pack his clothes if i don't do it this afternoon because i do got to go back to work i am gonna um do it this evening so let me um put some food in here real quick So I used the uh, one fourth cup scoop for her. Um, so that's and for lunchtime she get two. That's what it look like. The fellas is coming in the house, but I'm gonna get Kelly so she can eat. Come and eat, girl. Okay. She has to say hi to everybody in the house. Like not too long ago. Come on, mama. Go say hi to. <laughs> okay, Kelly, come on. So anytime you come in the house, she gets so excited when she see you like she haven't seen you. And you, you just saw her five minutes ago, but she gets so excited when you when she sees somebody come through the door. And um, but now she's eating. So yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to finish packing my stuff and then I'm gonna pack my husband's stuff and then I'll go back to work. Um so I'll take you along. Hey guys, so my lunch break is officially over. My work lunch break. My nine to five lunch break is officially over. But I'm sitting over here. I don't have any assignments. I'm, I'm up to date. I've done all I need to do for the day. And I don't have anything from my attorneys that they need me to handle. Y'all, my face has been breaking out like crazy. You see all these bumps? Um, I have not been doing my skincare routine. And you know, I told you before, when I don't, my skin break out like crazy. It's hot. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and finish packing my clothes. Right. I'm hang this dress up. Um, so guys, I use these light gray hangers. I get these velvet hangers from... Um, target and these are my favorite hangers these are the only hangers i use in my closet <sighs> all right let me put this down work laptop i gotta move the baby toys Okay guys, so this is my suitcase. And like I said, I am pack, pack, 
Um, I just got to add a few things. These, this is my daytime clothes right here. And my bathrobe. Um, let me find some way to situate you guys. Baby, you don't know what to do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. Won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. So I want to take my um, Steve Mattins. So, so I'm using my dust bag. This is a gift for my girlfriend because we're going out to celebrate her birthday. My suitcase is packed the only thing that i have to pack is my underclothes my wig and um my makeup and toiletries so that's it i'm gonna get my husband to take that downstairs so it's out of here i already started packing up my toiletries this is the one for my um hair accessories um, i put some of these little toilets in here i am taking this small perfume this is a valentino perfume um i got with my sephora point and i'm only taking this one and i'm taking this this is the lancome these are my small ones taking my one stop small pack of makeup white removers i have face cleanser and the moisturizer I'm doing this toner and I'm taking my makeup remover then of course a toothbrush toothpaste and some Listerine um, and I got you know this for my um, soap and my lotion so I need to do that today And I already come with the labels. I have my makeup brush already packed. Um, yeah, so I have my makeup pack, my brushes. I don't have, I don't know what makeup I want to physically take. 
I do need to go and get me some got to be for my um a small one to take so I'll be doing that and that's it I mean my wigs like I said I just washed two I gotta blow dry them when well, I blow dry them I have to flat iron them and one of them I want to crimp so I need to go and get I need to purchase a crimper and um that's all I got um, to do. So I am. Um, and so the only thing I have to pack up is the. Please stay still. Please. Thank you. Only thing I have to. Guys, I can't with this light. The only thing I have to do. I'm doing my um, lotion now. Is um, figure out what makeup I'm taking. Pack my wigs up and my bags my purse that i'm taking so i wanted to start packing early because you know i'm still working on my conference and my conference is starts the day i come back so of course next week the week that i'm leaving and go on vacation is the week before the event which is always busy anytime I, you know well you guys probably don't know because you haven't worked the event but anytime like any type of organization do anything the week before is always the busiest because you you doing all your checks to make sure everything is taken care of so i know i'm not going to have time to physically pack next week because i'm going to be doing all the last minute items for my physical event so that's why i wanted to get all of my packing and stuff done today this week because next week is just not going to happen for me it's i just won't have the time and I don't want to think about it. So I got that packed up. Flat irons. I don't know if I'm taking. Cur I don't know if I'm taking curlers, but I'm taking my flat irons. I need to take me a brush and a comb. All right, guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna go put some body wash in this one, and I'll probably start packing my husband's stuff. Hey, family. So it is super late. It is. Um, oh, look at that. It is seven six. 50 basically i'm just getting in the house from work um that bump is big i had to work late because my um case came back with a verdict right as i was walking out the door to get ready to go home so i had to stay at work a whole hour and a half late i am super hungry um so i made me a cornish hen the other night and um, i'm gonna eat that with some broccoli and i'm gonna share half of it with my son because he doesn't want to eat leftovers from the other day so i'll be back so um i'm not a fan of my makeup today i feel like my um i use what did i use I use this Maybelline um, Super Stay. What is it? Yeah, Super Stay. And this is in the shade uh, 332. I feel like it's too light. It's too, too white. It's like ashy. So I'm going to have to get this to one of my girlfriends that's a little light skinned. It. Um, hold on, guys. Let me. All right, so I need to um, change my clothes. I had on my, what did I have on today? I had on my um, leopard shawl, this one. I had this on with the tan shirt and um, I had on my waist beads and I'm just a black skirt. But yeah, I had to, um, I'm about to take my girdle off, my waist trainer. Because I need to eat and I don't, I don't want my stomach to be tight. So I also need to get me another one, a smaller one. Because this is, um, it's kind of still big. Because like I can, I need it to go like all the way over here. As you can see like, um, I'm on a third level and I still got a major space. So I need to, um... I'm going to order me a smaller one because this really doesn't even do anything. It just make my stomach flat, but it's not really training anything because it's too big for me. Literally, let me just, this is, this is how tight it needs to be. Like to really, you know, for me, but so yeah, I have a new one in my cart. Um, I'm just, I just didn't want to pay for it right now because I'm going on vacation next week and I'm not trying to be spending money. So I'm like, this little $30 can go to something else. So, <laughs> um, I haven't ordered a new one. My baby coming up the steps. Hi, baby girl. Say hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> hi, sweetie pie. 
I miss you today too. I did miss you. Hey girl, calm down, calm down. Shh, shh, shh. Calm. Hey, <laughs> thank you for all the love. Thank you, Bola. Hey mama, I have makeup on mama. So yeah, so she greets me like that every day I come home from work and um, then she going about her business. She said hi. All right. These are my wigs that I washed the other day. Uh, my husband just threw them up in here. So I need to, um, this one, this one still feel damp. Um, I need to go to Walmart because I want to crimp this one. I'm going to crimp this one. She's going to be straight. So I got a ash blonde, a regular blonde. And um, I don't know for sure if I'm taking her or not. But anyway, I washed all three of those to go to Vegas with me next Thursday when I'm going. So um, I need to uh, do them up. I got to get them prepped so I can go ahead and pack my carry-on luggage. Um, but let me go. I like my shoe wall. I have some empty spots because I already packed those shoes up for my trip. But um, I'm about to go and fix me something to eat because I'm hungry, guys. So, I'll be back. Hey, family. Welcome back to the channel. And on today, we are going to be um, prepping these wigs for our trip next week. I am going to Vegas in seven days, guys. So... I have been in a packing mode. My face is dry. My lips are dry. This wig I just washed yesterday. She looking real raggly. I need to do something to her, but I'll do her last because she's not one of the wigs that I'm taking with me. Look at that sun coming through, making me look orange. Let me um put shut my um blind. You know, I only have one. If you're new to my channel, I only have one window in my closet. You see that wig right here? That's the second wig I need to do. I just hung her up so she can dry. Um, I got another blonde wig right here that we about to work on. But let me just close this uh, window so we can get some light, this light better. Okay, guys, so I think that's a little better. So one, this wig that's right here, I am going to crimp. And I just purchased these literally an hour ago i went to walmart and just got these um i've never used a crimper this is a remington and i hope y'all can see that so brand new um but i'm using this net i am this blonde wig right here that i'm working on now this one I want to just make her bone straight so I'm taking four wigs I'm taking my bob wig which will be straight and this natural hair and then I'm taking another natural hair one that is going to be curly and then for my two blondes I'm doing one straight and um, one crimp um, my husband loves a blonde so that's why I'm taking blonde with me and um you know I like to change it up so let me get my flat on in the midst of all of this, your girl is working from home, so I got to keep checking my emails um, to make sure I don't have anything that I need to do. I need to turn in my time sheet today, an hour, and look at that. I got three emails. That's that quick. Um, okay, I don't care about that. Hi, I hope all is well. I'm reaching out because I'm working on my virtual bull. I'm able to add our logo, banner, and basic company info. I can't seem to find an option to have other con. We have a video. Okay, guys, um, I'll be back. I got to respond to one of my exhibitors, and I'm going to use my laptop, not my cell phone. All right. Hey guys, so I want to show you the luster on this wig that I'm about to work on. Um, whoop, at how shiny this hair is. And this is the natural uh, curl pattern on this hair. But it still has a nice shine to it. It does not look dull at all. Um, it's thick. It's healthy. This wig is about almost two years old. Still look pretty. Still no tangles. I have no tangles whatsoever. Um, this is a wig from Love Me Hair. You guys know that I love them. That's one of my favorite. That's my top 
hair company. Majority of all my wigs are from Lummy Hair. Um, I do have a link down below for a discount. If you would like to get a discount, you can use my um, link. But very much healthy. And if you want to know what I use to wash my wigs, let me know and I'll show you guys that. I use the same products every time on my wigs. Every wig, the same products. And I've been using it for years now. And it helps me keep my wigs longer. You have longevity when you use it. Um, yeah, I love it. Now, this wig right here, that wig came from... Where did I get that wig from? I can't remember. I got a... a um, actually, I think that wig came from Love Me Hair, too. Now, that's an ash blonde. I'm sorry, guys. I'm using this Pineapple Haze CBD Gloss, Glossy Lip Balm. And let me show you. I got this in a boxy charm. So I'm just using it to um, moisturize my lip. Um, you can tell that was um, dyed. It was bleached because when I washed it, uh, the color was it rinsed out a little bit. Um, so I think the next time I wash that, I will be using my purple shampoo. Um, but I never, I just use the same stuff. I use my silicone shampoo for all my wigs. So, oh, let's see. Do I have any? So yeah, I am letting my flat iron heat up. The products that I'm using on this wig to get it bone straight, I will be using my Cantu Shea Butter. And this is a um, heat protector. And I'm going to be using, even though this, as I just said, even though this has a nice sheen to it, I'm going to put a teeny bit of this um, oil on it, not a lot a teeny teeny bit just to kind of give it um a little more shine to it but that's what i'll be using and then i'm straightening it. that's all i'm doing to this wig and i'll be back and i'll show you how it works. it's not that i don't want you here it's something about the way you stare I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just beach fuels and then every day All I wanna hear is an vision that we play Sitting next to you with my wig and this is she let me look how flowy she is nice and bone straight and just the way my husband like it so ebony is complete her name is ebony guys if you don't know my husband named all of my wigs and um this is his favorite and he love her to be straight so um i make sure to always keep her in this state she has a lot of body so she is complete and I can pack her up now. This is her bag with her name on it. And she can go into my suitcase for Vegas with her sisters. <laughs> Done. And now I have to work on Margo. Her name is Margo. This is what she looked like.
so she has a nice sheen on her as well um and this one is more so like a, a mixed ash blonde um has a lot of highlights as you can see and low lights and she is going to get crimped so i need to um i probably won't do her until later on and i'll show you her when she's finished because i have i still gotta do some work so i'll be back guys